An important part of the settlement process in load call is managing withholdings. So withholdings are balances that will be held against your drivers, whether it's a loan or different monthly or other types of fees that need to be applied before you finish calculating out how much you need to pay them for your pay period. So withholdings come in two varieties. There are one-off withholdings and then there are recurring withholdings. A one-off withholding is usually a driver-by-driver -driver basis where if a driver asks for like a cash forward balance, uh, you can go ahead and create that in the system and the next time you pay them out, you can kind of hold it back uh, against the uh, income they brought in. Whereas a recurring withholding applies every single pay period uh, for every single driver unless otherwise specified. So we're going to create both really quick and uh, kind of go over some of the, the options entailed within creating a withholding. To create a one-time withholding, all we have to do is click on this green create withholding button up here, which will pull up a form where we need to fill out some of the uh, information in here in order for load call to know how much to withhold and any of the other options. So the first thing that you need to do is put in the carrier. By default, load call will create the uh, different settlements and break it down by carrier groups. So we always need to specify which carrier we are working with here. So if I want to put in spades transportation LLC as the carrier that's going to have this withholding, we can go ahead and type it in and select them here. Now, optionally, you can put in the driver name if you wanted to. So if I wanted to say this is, you know, specific to Colton MacArthur or whoever I could do that, you don't need to do that in this case, though, since it may not always apply. And now we're going to say or give the withholding a name that is easily recognizable so that those in accounting know what's going on as well as the driver. So I'm going to say that they just had a cash advance for whatever reason. Um, you can put in notes in here that specify, you know, more detailed information. You can say covered, a repair, and, you know, include whatever notes in here you want. You don't have to include them if you don't want to. And then we have to put in the amount. So let's say that we gave them, you know, $1,200 in order to cover this repair. Uh, additionally, down here, you can tag on an additional fee. So this would be the amount. And then if you want to have an additional fee or an additional percent fee, you can go ahead and choose yes or no. If you choose yes, you have to specify the fee or the percent that needs to be held, uh, but you may not need to do that. So I'm just gonna click no on both of those and click save. And now when I go in and create my next settlement, we are going to have this withholding that's going to be held against Spades Transportation LLC. Um, and uh, if we want to edit or delete this, then we can go ahead and come in here and click edit, which will open back up this form. We could delete this withholding, or there's the option to cancel a settlement skip. So once we actually get into the settlement creation process, which will occur in a different video, you can see there's the option to take these withholdings and either push them to a future settlement or you can split them between settlements in case it's too big of a payment or there wasn't enough income to kind of cover it. And if you do do that, you have the option in here to unskip it and say, actually, we want to apply this now. Instead, we made a mistake. So this would be the ability to go in and make sure that it applies on the current settlement right here. But we'll cover that in the settlement process video. So yeah, so that's the uh, first withholding, the uh, one-time withholding. Next part of the video, we're going to make a recurring withholding. To make a recurring withholding in load call, all you have to do is click on this green create recurring withholding button, and it's gonna open up a initial kind of a warning here that says, you know, creating a recurring withholding can have extremely dangerous and wide ranging consequences, which is true. You don't want to be uh, knocking everyone's bill down by their payout by a certain amount. So uh, in order to proceed, we need to type in the word danger just to uh, make us, you know, think about what we're doing here. And after I do that, I can click create recurring withholding. And then we need to give our recurring withholding a name. So you can see it down here, I have an insurance flat fee that I've already built in with the uh, this right here. And I'm going to come up with one that's called, you know, truck insurance, or yeah, we'll call it truck insurance. So this insurance might just be like a different policy. But let's go ahead and create a recurring withholding. And after we do that, we have to choose the type of withholding. So load call comes preloaded in with a lot of different options in here. So we'll just work through these really quick, but you can withhold a flat monthly fee. So this is independent of any other circumstances. You can withhold a percent of gross invoice tickets if you would like. Uh, withhold per truck using company plates. So we might select that one in this case, or withhold per truck with an ELD installed. 
So depending on the settings on different trucks and trailers or things, you have options in here. Uh, withholding per active trailers, prorated or not prorated for days within the pay period. Uh, same with the truck. Withhold for lease trailers, withhold for lease trucks, etc. So I'm going to say that there's just an additional insurance fee for trucks that are leased out. And the fee in this case is specified on each individual. So we're going to go find a person after this and uh, change the settings on there in order for this fee to work out. But uh, after that, I can go ahead. You can see that if I choose a different option, sometimes there's an uh, option down here we have to put in the amount or a percent or things like that. But this lease truck fee is uh, one that is specified on each individual driver. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, click Save. And uh, in here, you can see the type instead of flat fee, the new truck insurance is based off of lease truck. And the way that a lot of these work is there is no additional configuration besides putting in the amount or the percent or things like that. But this one down here will require us to come over into the directory data and uh, kind of change some of the settings on there. So if I go into the directory data and we can see we have Colton MacArthur right here. If I go into, well, we're gonna go into the quick config page really quick. And underneath trucks, we're going to take this truck right here and we're going to change the truck settlement settings. So we already have it set up here. So the truck is leased out to the carrier and there is no fee. Well, what we want to do is change that to be a fee. We'll say, you know, it's another $50 a month or something. Uh, it's using truck, truck or company plates and the ELD is installed. It doesn't really matter because we don't have any ELD specific recurring withholdings. But if we go ahead and save all of that, then now this truck will have those fees applied um, based off of that uh, settlement um, withholding right here, the recurring withholding for uh, leased truck based fees. So if in some cases you want to override this for specific drivers, let's say you have a bunch of drivers who have leased trucks, but you have one who is a supervisor and he's working part-time and doing other stuff and you want to reduce his fee for whatever reason, then you could also go into the directory data. Let's use our example for Colton again. And if we pull him up, we can override the recurring withholdings. So if we wanted to override these and say, you know, the insurance flat fee, he's only driving part-time, so we're gonna drop it to 250, then we can go ahead and do that. So now instead of having a $500 insurance flat fee, he's gonna have a 250. However, because he does have a leased truck, he's still gonna get that $50 fee that we specified over on the truck. So very flexible, pretty straightforward to um, come in and change these. There, It does take a little bit of time, especially when setting up for the first time to get everything, all the ducks in a row here. But after you have it set up, the uh, process of creating a settlement is extremely fast and uh, a lot of errors are completely avoided or mitigated because you've gone in and you've set up everything properly. But uh, yeah, that's basically withholdings within settlements and setting them up.